Hi, my name is Kylie Murphy, and today I will be giving my final persuasive speech for the end of semester. So first, I'd like to start by asking a simple question. Do you think our technological devices affect our day-to-day -day conversations and our social skills? I think they do. And today I'm going to be talking about how our technological devices can negatively affect our social skills and how it can interfere with our conversations. And then at the end, I will um, follow up by talking about how we can fix these problems and what needs to be done to change them. So to start, I would just like to kind of introduce technology. So today's world, if it's an iPhone, an iPod, Android phone if you have one of those, tablets, laptops, Xboxes, computers, even your Apple Watch if you have it. <laughs> all of these items, all of these technological devices, they allow us to reach out to the people maybe that aren't so close to us. Cross country, next state over, next town over, in a different country, other parts of the world. It allows us to communicate effectively with them for the first time in I don't know how long, years, hundreds of years. It's never been able to be done as effectively as it is today. Whether it's a phone call, a text message, an email, a FaceTime, heck, if you're even calling while playing video games, it's allowing us to communicate with the people that aren't right there next to us. And although this is a good thing, it brings a lot of cons and it brings a lot of trouble to not only us, but the people around us trying to communicate with us. So the first point I would like to bring up today is technology is a distraction for us. And I will start by using me as an example. Me, personally, when I am talking to the people in front of me, if that's my mom, my dad, my brother, and my phone is right next to me or even an arm's length away, if I see it ding or even light up, I will reach for it. I will drop the conversation I'm having to see what is going on. And I will scroll, just forgetting that there's people around me. And I hope I'm not long in, alone in this. <laughs> I hope other people do it. But this is one of the biggest problems with technology. It's almost like an addiction to some of us. We hear the phone ding, we see it light up. We maybe not even hear it, but we think we hear it. And we drop everyone, every conversation we're having to go look at it, see what it is. And even some of us, we use it as an escape. If we don't want to talk to a person, we'll get on our phone, just kind of block them out. You don't have to deal with it. <laughs> like my brother, for example, and this has been going on since he was five. He's got introduced to technology as early as I can remember. When he doesn't want to socialize, he'll go in his room and play his game. And most of the time these days, that's more often than not. But he doesn't get face-to-face -face conversation. He doesn't get to connect with a person. He doesn't get to see their body language. He doesn't get to see how they're reacting. So he doesn't get the proper social skills. And there is a study that supports this, and I did link it in my outline if you wanted to read. But there is a study that supports that technology, in his case, gaming, does limit our social skills because of the lack of social confrontation that we get in, say, a day. It doesn't allow him to properly form his social skills, to connect with someone, to react to their body language, any of that. And that is the first major problem. It's a distraction. We don't get the face-to-face. -face. We escape the face-to-face -face by doing our phones, or in his case, a game. In my case, Instagram, Snapchat. <laughs> Just anything to avoid a conversation that we don't want to have. Or even if, in my case, it's something you think might be better than that conversation. And the second point I would like to make is technology is isolating. We don't feel the need to go out and have face-to-face -face conversations because we think we're getting it all from our phone. We think texting our boyfriends, texting our friends is going to give us the same sort of social happiness as our social contentment as if we were talking to someone face to face. And I find nowadays with me and my brother, I don't know anything about him. I don't know who his friends are. I don't know what he does for fun outside his games because I feel like I haven't talked to him in forever. 
at dinners when we're all sitting together, I try to talk to him, just, you know, find out what's going on. And the reason we're both so isolated from each other is because we both focus on our technology. In my case, my phone, his case, his game. But we focus on those two, on our items, our devices, instead of focusing on each other and working on a relationship with each other. And I know everyone is guilty of hiding behind their phone, as I said earlier. But another thing that this causes Aside from what I had stated earlier, we're not good at handling negative situations. We've become so isolated from everyone that we don't know how to handle conflict. We don't know how to read the body language of everyone around us, as I stated earlier. And this isolation with the technology, it creates a disconnect from how we should be able to behave and how we do. Say, for example, put yourself in high school. I'm sure you remember having some sort of confrontation face to face between someone you didn't get along with. Kids these days are so used to being able to just, like if they're having a fight with a significant other on the phone, just be able to hang up or not answer a text message. Or like my brother with his games, if it gets a little heated, he can just turn off his microphone. But when you're in high school, back to this example, and you have a face-to-face, -face, you can't run. You're forced to deal with that situation. And nowadays, people don't have those skills, so <laughs> they're not able to properly manage the situation or walk through the situation. They're not able to pick up on the uh, physical pointers that show like when someone's uncomfortable or if someone's getting mad, like they don't understand how to pick up on those signals. And so it, things escalate. We're not able to properly de-escalate situations. And all of these can be downfalls of technology. And they're very common downfalls with technology. Almost everyone has either one of them. Either they get distracted with the technology or they're isolated by the technology and they're not able to have proper conversations. So how do we fix these problems? For some short period of time out of a day, just to start, just put the electronics away, put your devices away. Just focus on having face-to-face -face conversations with one another so you learn those social cues, so you can work on your social skills. Yes, it won't fix everything, but it is a start. It'll help you start to build up those blocks. Think of it like a tower. Right now, you're square, square one, nothing there. But each day that you have a conversation face-to-face -face without the distractions, and you get out of your little isolation bubble, and you get to have a face-to-face -face conversation, you're adding a building block. So yes, it is gonna be, it is a long process to build back on your social skills and to go back from square one, but it is possible. And I think a lot of us should take this step, even if it's just dinner, putting the phones away and having conversations with your family, or once a day going out of your room to talk to friends face to face to hang out with them. Those are little things that will help you tremendously in the long run. So yeah, that is all the points I wanted to make. So in conclusion, just put the phones away, put your devices away, talk to one another. So that way one, you don't disconnect from the world around you, you don't get distracted by your phone, you don't become engulfed with your technology, and two, so you don't become isolated, where going out and talking to people is a struggle for you, and you're not able to handle these social interactions. And finally, I know this isn't going to change everyone's minds. I know everyone's still going to go to the technology, and I know technology is still going to play a huge role in our lives, and I don't expect that to change. I just hope you'll take a little from this speech and you'll maybe take a hour maybe out of your day just to have a face-to-face -face conversation with no distractions. So yeah, hope you enjoy.